Well, we're here at Backyard Jack's Barbecue in Byron, Georgia. And of all people, we have Bruce Erickson, who developed, engineered, I mean, came up with the tip top temp. A lot of people have heard about it. A lot of people are using this already. He designed it for the Weber cattle. But a lot of people have picked it up and want to use it on the acorn and some of the other Kamado type grills because it's designed to adjust and the airflow. Well, Bruce, tell us what you had in mind when you came up with this. A very simple way to control the, the charcoal. Uh, temperatures, uh, temperature control is the hardest part on charcoal grills. Mm -hmm. Make something easy so you don't have to get out of the lawn chair all the time. Oh, yeah. Something to just let it go for hours. Something more efficient to keep the charcoal so you don't have to fill it up all the time. It was a lot of it by accident, but it worked together very well. Yeah, I'd say. And I know that you use this a lot on your acorn. Could you show us how to put it on? Yeah, we'll, we use it. The thing about you, it would just sit there and stay all day. But I'm one of those that has to look every now and then. You have to tend to the spritz. Well, if you lift it, it's going to fall. We have a plate holder. Mm -hmm. Is this included with the... If you order it, and if you there's if you request it, if you want it, you're going to get it. Yeah, this plate holder is a must-have. You're going to have to help me, Bruce, because I'm I'm doing four-handed <laughs> things with two hands. Now the idea is to secure this to the top of the bin. All right, pull your springs over to that side, and then you hook under the ridge there. On the front, on the back, that you're going to pull the lip down, it's secure, there's no air coming in, going out. And notice this this is the main working part. This is going to open and close as it gets hotter, it's going to, it's going to expand, it's going to close this as your grill kind of cools down. This opens a bit more, lets more air in. And it just works like a yep. dream. You take and you set the, the coil to stop at a certain temperature. Yeah. And if it's at 225 degrees and that thing stops, you close the, the damper to that point. Now the grill is set. The coil is set for 225. It'll open and close and keep that temp. Mm hmm And I found there's a mark between two and three that's about two and a half. And that's almost perfect for me in the acorn with the uh, setting of 200. 25 it's degrees. also relative to the ambient temperature out here. If you're if it's winter and cold, that'll be a different temp, but you can adjust that for the temperature. Oh yeah. Hey Bruce, I've been watching this. <clears throat> I like it, of course. Oh, and yeah. um, my concern is this thing won't fall off. No, the plate holder was a great cre uh, invention from one of our customers. He discovered it that it fit perfectly. Oh, uh, and it doesn't slide off. And it doesn't you. slide off. It, it'll hold it until you open it all the way up. Okay, great. Well, now, I know that Jack's got a uh, Gorilla Grill, is that what it is? Grill, grill Kong, yes. Okay. Will this fit that one? With the adapter, it'll, the Kong has a six inch ID ceramic top. You're talking about the inside. And the inside. When of, takes this off. So this vent comes off on the Kong, it's a little bit bigger. This is this silicone gasket will take up the, the space on it. When this is removed, the gasket goes around the con, around the TTT, and it just slides inside the hole on the on the con. And it won't fall in. It will not fall in. Okay, great. Well, listen, I uh, I think Jack's got. He'll let us do it on that on that other. Okay. You want to do that and then show us how to do that? That would be great. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Bruce, how do how does people get in touch to buy a tip top or learn more information? They can certainly go to the tiptoptemp.com website or uh, the tip top temp on Facebook, Amazon, and our distributors in Canada and Australia. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're we're back to show you that we have a 20 inch Kamado grill, just a large Kamado grill. We've taken the top because we're going to use the tip top temp with this. We took the top off, got rid of it. It comes with a real sturdy, thick silicone gasket. 
And you can see that we've already got one in place, but it just wraps around here, fits inside the chimney of your Kamado. Then with the silicone here, we've got it completely enclosed. The thing is secure now, so we can lift it. It's not going anywhere. And then we can set our temperature with this draft on top. Makes it an ideal temperature controller. Of course, you're gonna set your vents on the bottom, but your air control with the top vent. I really like this setup, and I think we're gonna just leave it exactly like it is forevermore. And my thanks to Bruce Erickson, who invented and developed this tip-top temp. He left us a couple of these, and uh, I'm just thankful for the idea that he came up with and look forward to using it for a long, long time. Thanks, Bruce.